Hey, I'm going to do a little bonus pod here. I, I was thinking about the the whole letter writing thing or not responding and the reality I created for myself. And I want to flesh that out a little bit more because I think what especially it's become crystal clear to me in the past couple of months, life is what you make it. And a lot of times, you know, whether you call it vibrations or, you know, whether it's a facial expression thing or the energy you bring to a room, however you want to explain it, you really do not only create your own perspective on things, you know, maybe based on reality, maybe not, but you also frame how other people present themselves to you. If you're bringing a scowl to the room, people are going to react to that scowl. If you bring a smile to the room, people are going to bring a different energy to that smile. And, you know, in all of this is, you know, I mean, there's, there's little hidden things, little facial features or facial expressions that attract and repel different types of people around you. Um, then you get into personality styles and, and the way you stand, body language, even, even trained responses. All of this stuff we bring to every interaction we have with somebody. It could be customer service on the phone. It could be somebody in the grocery store. It could be somebody at the bar, a neighbor down the street. We all have like a library of people in our minds that have framed how we identify with the next interaction we have. And I think the more we understand what we are bringing and what somebody else might be bringing based on the actions that that we have and that they uh, exhibit, the more we can understand that, I think the more we can separate our gut feelings from you know, what might really be happening, you know, like understanding it better. Um, Vanessa Van Edwards actually uh, does very good work in this with body language, facial expressions, uh, and even gives tips on how to best present yourself um, if you go to a networking event and that, that sort of thing, or even, you know, relationships type stuff. And I, I think it's, I mean, it's, it's great work. I mean, it, it's, you know, like she does studies where they go over uh, you know, the different facial expressions and the muscles that are used in somebody's face and how other people unconsciously perceive it. Uh, it. It's really cool. You know, I notice in myself, when I bring more of a exploratory attitude to a situation or a curious attitude to a situation, even if it's a bad situation, kind of like, you know, what is this teaching me? Uh, my overall experience is better. And again, that goes back to authenticity. If I can authentically be curious, if I can authentically be open to various different people, I find that, you know, it, it almost seems mystical. Like some people are just brought into my life, you know, either for a second or longer. Um, but there's something to learn from every interaction. And then you also can sort of understand or see observe the other actions that somebody else takes and, and maybe try to get, you know, understand a little deeper meaning. Um, even with, you know, people that exhibit bad behavior, you, know, you can sort of understand or comprehend that like something happened to them in the past that caused them to behave in the way that they're behaving now. Exploring your thoughts, exploring how we perceive the world, how we present ourselves to the world, and then how that is reflected back to us based on how we're presenting ourselves. If, if you step back with a little bit of curiosity, the more you feel comfortable in your own skin, uh, the more you observe in a meta kind of way how the interactions happen, uh, the more you can understand and the more you can improve them, I believe. And that's, that's something I've been trying to do is it, it almost becomes consuming in a way sometimes because, you know, I can, I can overanalyze interactions. You know, why did I say that? Why did they say that? Why did, why did that feel off? Why did I feel uncomfortable? Why did I enjoy that one so much? What about this person draws me in? And, and the more I understand that, the more I understand about myself.
And so I think it's a, I think it's a it's a great practice. It's it's a great. It, I would just if if you can take the opportunity to let go of your presumptions and just sort of um, present your best self to the world and see who comes knocking. Um, it would be interesting. It would be interesting. And maybe also try to observe some of the negatives you bring to the world. You know, if it's complaining, if it's a scowl, if it's, you know, that's just this negative or even domineering uh, type of behavior, um, you know, is that bringing people into your life that, that you want? And if the answer is no, well, then how can you improve that? How can you unpack that and change it? You know, it's, it's, I, think it's worth, I think it's worth our time. I think maybe the world would be a better place if we uh, each of us spent a little bit more time doing that. So I don't know, just my, my couple of thoughts. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and present my best self. And I'm immediately reminded of, um, I was at the, in the uh, veggie section a couple of weeks ago. And I was just kind of in my own head, just walking around, you know, whatever, be bopping around. And uh, I hear this little hi right next to me. And it's like a, I don't know, one or two year old little girl, blonde hair, blue eyes. Um, and she was like, just must have just learned the word hi. And apparently is getting some good responses from people when she uses it because like she has this bright, like, I expect you to like be really excited that I just said hi to you, which of course I was. And so I said hi back. And immediately like walked away and I was like, wow, now I'm in a good mood. I wasn't in a bad mood before, but now I'm in a really good mood, right? Adults can do the same thing. We don't have to be cranky. We don't have to be shut down. I know women have a another thing where they're like, they're way too, you know, if they're too open, then they get way too much attention that maybe they don't want. So there's that whole like, you know, leave me alone kind of thing. I get that happens. Guys maybe have a different experience. We get kind of jaded to that but i don't know i think if you just keep putting it out there and and you know be who you want to be you get back what you want so that's my 10 minutes so i appreciate you listening to my random thoughts you create your own reality life is what you make it like that whole thing uh, i totally believe it and uh you know if you think that it's awful maybe stop and look and find reasons why it's not you know what can you appreciate today. Make it a habit. Like write down today. What can I appreciate today? What, what's good about today? And, uh, you know, I think if you do that, if you get in the practice of looking for that good stuff, um, you also get in the practice of bringing uh, a better version of yourself every day. So, all right. Thank you. Keep moving forward.